is nearly 7 a.m. No, I don't know what time it is, it's 6 something. We're up and out this morning and we are taking a bus to Andrax to then cycle back to Palenza. So it's an early start. We were just laughing because the streets have been bouncing with people the last couple of nights. And when we've come to wake up pretty early, they're always super clear. Um, and obviously if you're on a night out in the UK, there's normally McDonald's trash, gherkins, telltale signs everywhere. Gonna go and get our bikes. The lads are wide awake. It's cold. Why is it so wide awake? My little cricket. <laughs> feeling ready? I'm feeling excited for the day. What's on the agenda? Sunrise, number one. <laughs> 136k. 137. 137. Oh, that is peaceful. Good morning, Mallorca. How gorgeous is that? Quite a bit of climbing today. Don't know if the legs are going to make it, but we'll find out. Just starting the route. <laughs> and already come up a hill we didn't need to come on. And we're now climbing. <laughs> to try and get on the road. <laughs> wow! Every hill's always worth it. Even the black ones on Garmin. Can we do an account for? <laughs> this is heaven. Round the bend. Look at this. Oh. Wow. Oh my god, unbelievable. So a quick bit about this uh, route today. So the bus left from just outside of Port de Valencia. Oh no, sorry, just down the road from our hotel in Port de Valencia. I uh, stopped and picked up a couple more cyclists in Alcusia and it was ace. I'll put the link to how we found it below. Uh, I think it was like £40 per person. They pop our bikes on the uh, trailer, all nice and secure. They looked like they were tucked in with blankets, padding. Drove us maybe an hour and ten uh, to Andrax and dropped us off where we can start this route. Uh, the 136 kilometres back to Port de Palenza. I think you can choose to cut it whatever way you want. So some people are peeling off, doing different things. You don't have to stay t together as a group. But we just plan to pop in and do solar. Pop in. <laughs> we just plan to do solar. Um, I think we're going to go to Cycling Planet. I think it's called Cycling Planet. And yeah, make our way back to the coast and see some of the little coastal routes. Like this one. Oh, it's honestly blown my head off this morning. Thought my legs were tired. And they are. But what a way to wake them up. I'm on cloud nine again. <laughs> anyway, yeah, 40 quid. Isn't too bad at all. Obviously early morning, early wake up. But then we've got to get the bikes back by six-ish. So we're on. And guess what I'm next to? You? The sea. Just done the most amazing descent and now we have a 10k climb ahead of us. Isaac's just come up with a big statement saying that he thinks this is better than the Girona Coast Road. I think it's big talk but we'll see. And the little climbs are always worth it. Look at that view. I'm dripping with sweat. Also look at this. I was honestly looking for somewhere to pee, truth be told. And I uh, saw this view and then I've actually just noticed this. I don't know if you can read that. It's blooming Richard Branson's villa. Mallorcan Hotel and Villa. San Boyola. Unbelievable, there's a camera blazing on me. So I'm obviously not gonna pee here, even though I'm like doing the double cross. I'm gonna have to obviously find somewhere else. You can't pee on Sir Richard Branson's place. But how lush is that? 
just creeping up Col de Claret. I think it's Col de Claret. I need to check. Uh, my legs are officially gone. I'm only 40k in. Look at this thing. <laughs> chub, chaba. Right, let's get him back. Okay, there we go. And away. Through my legs, he's not meg me. <laughs> See how fast it's flown. I love that descent so much. 